Kingfisher Field Development Project is one of the oil projects in Uganda, uh, which is located in Chikube and Hoima district. But the major activities are taking place in the Buhuka Flats, which is in Buhuka Parish, Changwali Subcounty, Chikube district. We are proud to be having the biggest wells, the Kingfisher wells in Buhuka. We know that we're going to be a rich community, much as Uganda owns this oil, but since we are the source, I'm sure we will get more benefits than other parts of this country. After identifying a land for oil and gas infrastructure for King Fisher Field Development, Development Project, a resettlement action plan was undertaken. And during the process of a resettlement action plan, five programs were identified to restore the lives of project affected persons and host communities in Buhuka and mainly priority was given to the pubs. First and foremost, I think we are benefiting a lot in terms of the road sector. A lot of roads are being constructed right now. Uh, we've already started off the Kisramfumbi Kabale Road which leads to the airport and the people have been compensated and as you move on that road you'll find that new houses are coming up, meaning that people are using that money to improve the housing sector. Today we are monitoring a very important exercise uh, which has involved harvesting of fish from uh, uh, the eight fish cages. I would like to thank Sunuk, Uganda, and Uganda Petroleum Authority. Um, through the livelihood restoration project, They've been able to support communities to do fish caging in Lake Halbert. As we are aware that in the Buhuka Flats, where the oil and gas infrastructure projects for Sinok are located, the major economic activities of uh, the pubs and the host communities is livestock and fish fishing. So in order to improve the economic activity of uh, the pubs, uh, Sinok supported the pubs with fish cages. But it's important to note that the pups were taken through the process, one of, of uh, installing these fish cages, feeding management for sustainability purposes. If we had an opportunity, we would have to say that 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 we would have to say government <laughs> Kandikusora Tuatula miti ingi, netutesa, netuga senzi, netuzi gabana. Tusoboro gula yobu enyanji obula lobu to. Tulisa teke jeze, tumazo kujamu ziri. Kuwazo tuwali tumazo kujamu keji, keji tano, nga tano zisi gade ziri empty. Katisinga tuwa gabana senzi, tutuali wade tusoboro kukula kukula chiki, kukuzamu. Katisawa zino tuchia kolo go kuzamu, tulazenti gundi e, e, business ya kutambu. Makasimu kwa umaiso, tuongele kutunga hui ya mbuku mara. Tujia kwa wantu ya tegeka kusafula inga kori yetu ya magita ya hanu ya sinoku. Kwa watu manjini kwa kutuja kwa katali kamaanu muno, umukichuwe kakini. When we went for monitoring of projects and programs under SUNUK and other agencies working in that area, we got interested in this project as a district. So we took it up under the local economic development. 
and we have now invested in the fish caging. We intend to grow this sector to the level where we can export fish. The five programs include HIV AIDS awareness and training. This was undertaken in December 2019 and more than a thousand people, including host communities, were trained and uh, are now, some of them are peer educators to continue with the exercise of creating awareness within the community. The second project was financial literacy and business training. This is basically to help the pubs and host communities uh, to ensure that they utilize compensation very well. The third program was vocational training uh, which was undertaken from Munteme Technical College in Chikube district where 50 uh, beneficiaries were identified from Buka Flats and they went through the, the vigorous exercise of learning uh, in the different uh, disciplines which included welding, carpentry, uh, cosmetology, and there was the issue of uh, of uh, brick making so and these youth are already active in the field they are doing a lot of work they are self-employed they are on, not only looking at the oil and gas sector to be employed in the sector they are employing themselves all in all the programs of livelihood restoration programs are aimed at restoring the lives of the pups